In this video, we'll be learning about the laws of logarithms. Now, we'll go through each of the three laws that we need to know, and for each of those, we'll be seeing two examples. Now, let's get started. Let's say we're working with logarithms in some base b. Then, the first law of logarithms we need to know is that log base b of some number a plus log base b of another number c is equal to log base b of a times c. And I'll just box that result. You want to make sure you know this. This is the first law of logarithms. And I'll just write law 1 here. Now let's see how we can use this with an example. Let's say, for instance, we were asked to simplify log base 2 of 3 plus log base 2 of 6. Well, using this law of logarithms, we can go ahead and state that this equals to log base 2 of 3 times 6, which equals to log base 2 of 18. Or let's say we're given another example, and let's say we're asked to simplify log base 3 of p plus log base 3 of q. Now, of course, we can't calculate p and q. We don't know what their values are. Nevertheless, we can simplify this expression using this law of logarithms, and we can write that this equals to log base 3 of p times q, which is just pq. That's the first law we learn. Now, let's look at the second one. Again, working in base b, let's say we consider the following. Log base b of a minus log base b of c. Well, what the second law of logarithms tells us is that this equals to log base b of a over c. And I'll just box that result as well. And I'll call this law 2. Now, let's see how we can use this law. For instance, let's say we're given the following. Log base 2 of 64 minus log base 2 of 4. Well, using this new law of logarithms, we can say that this equals to log base 2 of 64 divided by 4, which equals to log base 2 of 16, which equals to 4. Or we may be asked to simplify log base b, some generic base b, of 4p, minus log base b of, say, 2q. Well, using this law, we can state that this equals to log base b of 4p over 2q. And we can, of course, simplify that 4 on the numerator with the 2 on the denominator to write that this equals to log base b of 2p over q. And we would stop there. Now, the third law of logarithms that we need to know is the following. Let's say we're given log base b of a raised to the power of x. Well, this equals to x times log base b of a. And again, I'll just box this result, and I'll call this law 3. Now, let's see how we can use this. Let's say, for instance, that we're asked to calculate log base 2 of 4 raised to the power of 3. Well, in this case, using this third law of logarithms, we can go right ahead and say that this equals to 3 times log base 2 of 4. And since log base 2 of 4 is equal to 2, this will equal to 3 times 2, which equals to 6. Or we may be asked to simplify the following. Let's say we're given 3 
times log base b, some generic base b, of p. Well, in this case, using this third law of logarithms, we can go ahead and say that this equals to log base b of p to the power of 3. And there you go. Those are the three laws of logarithms that we need to know. So I'll just rewrite all three laws in the right-hand corner here. The first law was law 1, which we can also call the addition law, which would be log base b of a plus log base b of some number c equals to log base b of a times c. The second law we saw was that log base b of a minus log base b of c is equal to log base b of a over c. And finally, we saw the third law, which states log base b of a to the power of x equals to x times log base b of a. So make sure to make a note of all three of these laws, as we'll be needing them to simplify and calculate logarithmic expressions.